Hello, it's me, Dutch Master, and welcome back to another video. In today's video's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use different tables. And I know some of you are confused how to use cartography tables and other things. Well, let's get into the video. First, there's many kinds of tables. We're going to learn the newer ones. You already know about crafting tables, we're not getting into those. But anyways, first table is the cartography table. Some of you may be confused how to use it. Uh, this is how you craft it. So... Let's go actually, I am in survival. So all you need is two paper and four pieces of wood. Boom. I can have a cartography table, it's pretty easy. So, go into the cartography table. You know how you want to unzoom your map if you have such a tiny map? All you have to do is, see this map is so big and eh. You want to put it in the cartography table. Put the four pieces of paper in there and it can unzoom it. You do that. Then you put it back in, again, up to at least four times you can work up to. Okay, let's get it in there. And you have yourself an unzoomed map. This is the highest you can go, up to four pieces of paper. They're actually very useful if you want to find players or hunt or whatever. That's what I like about cartography tables. I like how they actually made it more realistic and added the update. And the fetching table. The fletching table. It has no use. Only villagers can use it for trades, as you can't use it. Same with the smithing table. Doesn't work either. Only villagers can use it for trade things. So we're on to blast furnace. It's used for ores and minerals. It's way faster than using a furnace, which is slower. Blast furnace is easier. Let's put iron ore and look how fast it goes. I'll take half of this show you how long it will take for the, for the furnace to work. So we put that in there. Look how slow that is. Just look how fast. Do, 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 do. This is ridiculous. It probably takes you... Smell all this will probably take you like 10 minutes. But this will take you like 5 minutes or less. That's what I like about the blast furnace. Way faster. Now we're on to the smoker. Smoker is faster, and as I said about furnaces, it takes longer, this just cooks food way faster. And how do you craft a uh, blast furnace and a smoker? It's easy. So, all you have to do is, where is it, put for a blast furnace, you, all you need is five pieces of iron, a furnace, and three of smooth stone. Craft it, boom, you have yourself a blast furnace. How to make a smoker, all you need is four pieces of wood, fresh wood, don't craft it, and you need a furnace. Pretty easy to make, put that right there, that's how you make it. The next thing is the lectern. Lectern can be used for redstone, different kinds of things. So let's get, let's see, let me just take all that, we're going to need that. So the lectern is used for redstone, or you just use it for decoration also. Same with the smithing table and the fletcher, they're used for decoration or a target practice, whatever you like. With this, you just put a book in there, it can activate redstone, you can just break it and deactivate it. Maybe used for secret bases, I know there's other reasons for redstone, maybe other things, I have no idea. I like these things, you're cool, just keep able to put a book in there and you can read it if you write a message. Cool. Now with the gridstone. You can fix things, say if the sword's broken, it's easy, it's easy to craft an anvil, but you can be, a, you gotta be careful, I'll, I'll tell you, you can craft that, but if you put an enchant in there, you can take off the enchant and you won't have it, so you gotta be careful, you don't wanna mess up your thing, so that's why anvils, if you wanna repair an enchant sword, put it in an anvil, it will cost XP, but it's worth it. Well, I hope this video helped help you learn how to use these different kinds of tables, do more tutorials, and hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!